Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Sagittarius? Hope you're doing amazing. I hope that you are as excited as we are for the holidays. We do it pretty big on this side, so excited about that. Anyways, let's get into your reading. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? regarding their love life and romance what can they expect in the next coming weeks what changes opportunities or obstacles do they need to overcome in regards to their love and romance please give me the cards that represent Sagittarius and the cards that represent their partner or a person of interest Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus okay we're going to shuffle one more time and let's get into it all right, Sagi, your first card here is the Nine of Swords. This is the energy that you're coming in the reading. The energy of the person of your interest is the Hierophant. Next card is the Wheel of the Year, the Hermit, and the Lover's card. Okay. Person of interest, the Hanged Man, the Ace of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Okay. Okay interesting so what i'm hearing is for a lot of you sagittarians there is a there is this energy of breaking free is what i'm hearing so for a lot of you guys breaking free could represent breaking free from a relationship breaking free from a cycle or a recurring cycle uh, that has gone on in your life and you're finally making the decision or you're finally taking action towards freeing yourself from this type of energy. You're no longer wanting to self-sacrifice. You're no longer wanting to keep yourself in a situation where you feel like you've outgrown the situation or there's nothing that could potentially come from this connection or from a previous connection, I should say. Um, and it's it, you're making the, the rational decision to completely cut chains. We have the nine of swords here, but I feel like it's coming up in the reverse. So this is you making the decision to free yourself um, with these swords, cutting yourself through um, these chains or these ropes to be able to fully free yourself. So there is a liberation here that's happening. There's an energy of liberation. I heard very clearly off the bat breaking free. So for a lot of you guys, this could symbolize many different things. Now, your next card here is the wheel of the year. So the wheel uh is definitely changing it's definitely in motion right now and it's leading you to the hermit which the hermit is enlightenment but it also is accepting the truth accepting what is uh accepting the lesson that life has been teaching you for quite a while when we're talking about love and romance when we're talking about choices when we're talking about the partners that we choose to relate to or that we choose to emotionally get invested in. So it's almost like um, a higher elevation of commitment for some. Um, it's a higher of elevation commitment to yourself and to making yourself happy, Sagittarius. And for others of you, it's freeing yourself from a toxic situation, being able to fully embrace what spirit has been trying to guide you to um, and for some of you guys, they may be guiding you towards a new connection or towards a soulmate type of connection here. Now, the person of your interest or the person you're dealing with is we have the Hierophant here, which talks about a person that is either very connected to their spirituality or a person that is very like they are, they could be eccentric, but potentially their ideals or their morals um, are very old school. They're very like, you know, you you court me, we date, uh, we commit, and then we marry, that type of energy. So this is giving me the energy of a person that is not willing to sacrifice their morals, their integrity, or they're not willing to bring down um, or lower their expectations when we're talking about relationships. The hanged man is an indication of seeing things from a different perspective, but also being able to see things from a different perspective because you are accepting or because they are accepting um, that there is a higher purpose for this connection here with the Ace of Wands. 
So the Ace of Wands is passion. It is desire. It is wanting to make things happen in a way of not being so patient. So for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a situation where you were dealing with someone um, around the time that you met someone else and the connection was so strong or so powerful that you were being like drawn to them like, you know, kind of like light to moths or moths to the light. Um, and it's almost like you wanted to rush this connection. You wanted to get, for some of you guys, you could have taken it to the physical aspect. For others, you, you really desired this person on every single aspect. But there was something about them that stood out to you the most. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, it could have been that this person was not willing to take it physical without fully seeing that you're willing to invest time and effort into getting to know them. So there was something that perhaps you weren't necessarily accustomed to. For others of you, it could be just that they are very different in their courting, the way they court or the way they want to be courted. And there was a bit of hesitation on your part, Sagittarius. Now, keep in mind, this could be uh, vice versa because it is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you um, and it's the other way around, then take it for what it is. If it doesn't resonate, obviously, don't, don't force anything. Um, but what they're saying here is there was something about a connection. Uh, or the person of your interest or that the person that is around you where they made you see things in a very different perspective. For some of you guys, it could be that you've never had a relationship that was very connected to spirituality or religion. Um, for others of you, it could have been the situation where you were just accustomed to the physical connection or the moment you find someone physically attracted, you court them, you guys, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am type of energy. And nothing really came or became prominent as long as like solidifying the connections. And you go from that to kind of being forced to court or to deal with this person in a very different way than what you're usually accustomed to or what you're used to. But this is also what made you see their worthiness or made you see that this is definitely the type of person you want in your life. The King of Pentacles could represent... A person that is very stable, a person that knows exactly what it is that they want. They're very grounded in what they look for in a partner. But this can also represent a person that is very stubborn. Um, you may be dealing with a Taurus. You may be dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo. You may also be dealing with a Gemini. Um, Virgo is here as well as Pisces type of energy. Um, but ultimately, what they're telling you here is... If you're dealing with this type of connection where you feel like they're really testing you, but in the testing process, it's making you a better person, definitely embrace this connection, Sagittarius, and put effort towards wanting to manifest the stabilization of this connection. Because I feel that this is not something that is accidental. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a soul type of connection. For others of you, this could be a soul tie meaning a past relationship, a past lover from a previous lifetime. So again, I feel that ultimately, if they are bringing out the best in you, uh, even if it's through a forceful way, kind of feeling like I can't have them unless I do this or unless I see things from a very different perspective, if that different perspective is helping you grow and become a better person, then I would definitely encourage you to continue on pursuing this person. For others of you, you may be ending karmic cycles, karmic relationships with people from the past, being able to fully embrace and be guided towards your soulmate, towards the person that you feel you've always longed for, or you always wanted, um, just has never really experienced that type of reciprocation when we're talking about love. So for a lot of you guys, there is a soulmate connection coming in. For others of you, um, it's about making des decisions and freeing yourself from anything that is toxic to fully be able to embrace what is unfolding in your future. I want to wish you guys the very best. Um, happy holidays as always. And don't forget to hit and like that subscribe button. We'll see each other soon. Till then. Bye.